So today I want to show you how to edit an existing illustration or vector graphic in Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you probably want to do is find that existing illustration. Maybe you'll download it from a free site like Vectezy.com. So go ahead and download the illustration that you want. And then you're going to open up that zip file that you downloaded to access the illustration. And you want to open up either the EPS file or the AI Adobe Illustrator file or even the SVG file to edit. So I'll open up the AI file. And here it is in Adobe Illustrator. Now the first thing I want to do is inspect the image to make sure that I can actually access the parts that I want to edit. I need to see if any parts are grouped together or if there's a clipping mask that I need to release or even if there's any layers that might be locked in the illustration. So far it looks pretty good. Nothing is locked. Nothing is too grouped together so I shouldn't have any problems accessing the parts that I want to edit. And remember all vector files aren't created equal. Different people make these different graphics so you have to inspect them to see how they've made them. So now that I can access each part of my illustration, I can start editing the colors or the textures or moving things around however I want to edit the file. I can go ahead and make those changes. And again, I may have to ungroup certain parts to access the areas that I want to access. Again, you just have to continue to pay attention to what you're trying to get to and just uh, ungroup as necessary. Now, if you want to get really granular, you can use the direct selection tool, the white arrow, to select points and paths and edit even deeper. So I can take the arrow, the white selection arrow, and I can actually select different points and I can edit my illustration at an even more granular level. Now this definitely takes some practice and getting used to, but over time you'll be able to manipulate the images the way you like. So once you're happy with the illustration, you can decide to group it all together or leave it as, as is, it's up to you but I'll group all my elements together. So now I can move it around as just one piece. And I'm gonna save the file. Just remember to do file, save as, and save a new version of your illustration, just in case you wanna go back to the original version and make changes to that. So I hope this has been helpful, and now you know how to edit an existing vector file. All right, see you in the next one.